This video is to provide a frame of reference and record the dimensions for the exterior material needed for uh, this sauna with the architectural panels. So I'm gonna walk around and show the width of the walls and the common dimension will be the elevation on the walls. And then I'm also gonna explain the soffits and uh, the roof line. So here we go. The wall one, which is facing north, 76 and three quarters by 87 and a half with a 38 by 82 rough opening. And then the overhang is 94 and a quarter by 26 and five eighths. The roof line is 13 and three quarters here and then 19 and three quarters here with that same dimension of 94 and a quarter. So that covers on this wall here, 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 here on the underside and uh, takes into consideration the rough opening. There's an inside corner here and the dimension for this is written here somewhere which I can't, oh, here we go. So it's 26 and a half. And again, the elevation that I have is 87 and a half. So everything is gonna be 87 and a half tall. Yeah, so 87 and a half, 26 and a half by 87 and a half. Nine and a quarter by 52. So that's from here to here. And then the face of the roof line is 20, by 41 and a half. So that takes care of this surface, the underside, the soffit, and then the face of the roof line. Then there's this wall. Remember, 87 and a half is the height I need for the elevation. So simple, 54 and a half by 87 and a half, 10 and a half by 62 and a half here. And then the roof line, since it has a pitch, is 21, 20 inches here and 24 inches here and 54 inches wide. So that takes care of this wall, the soffit and the face of the roof line. This wall, which is facing west is, where is the dimension? I wrote it on here so I could do this video quickly. But I was afraid this might happen where I couldn't see the dimension. All right, so I don't see it. Let's measure again. 87 and a half tall, 81 wide. The rough opening for the window is 14 by 52 and 5 eighths. The soffit on this side is eight by 101. The face of the roof line is 24 by 101, 24 by 101. So that's the wall minus the roof opening, eight by 101 for the soffit and 101 by 24 for the face of the roof line. 14 by 62 and 14 by 52 and five eighths rough opening. Now this wall is 103 and a quarter by 87 and a half. The soffit here, is nine and a half by 147. The roof line is 24 here. And down here, it's 13 and a half. So the length of that roof line, because it has the pitch, is not written on here, but it should be, oh, 147. So 147, 24 here, and 13 and a half here. This wall, which I don't have the sheathing on, 107 and a quarter by 87 and a half. And where's the dimension for the soffit on this wall? nine by 117 and then the elevation of 
this, the facing on this side is gonna be 117 by 13 and three quarters. So 117 by 13 and three quarters will cover that roof line face that's facing east. That's all the exterior dimensions. So I need to take into consideration the outside corners, the inside corners, the intersection of the wall to the soffit, outside corner of the soffit, roof line, so I can overhang material as needed. Um, what else? The casing for the door is gonna be really tight up there. So I don't know how that material is gonna finish with the door installed. And then same over here. I have plenty of room above the rough opening, but I need to plan for a jam size for the window you know, I've got half inch plywood going on on the inside as a nailing surface for the hemlock. So that adds a half. So you're at six and a half and then three quarter material will put you to seven and a quarter jam. And that would be an addition to what the uh, thickness of the exterior finished material for the architectural panels is going to be.